the Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Does telling your story so that it gets heard, understood, and re remembered sometimes feel like Mission Impossible? Well, Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR can help. Jerry's here on the Experience Pros Radio Show at this time every week with a tip to help you tell your story. Welcome back, Jerry. Thanks. Glad to be here. What's our storytelling tip this week? Well, I want to talk this week about the power of anecdotes because they're such great storytelling. Is that like anti-venom? Antidotes? Anecdotes. Oh, anecdotes. anecdotes. Oh, anecdotes. Little gotcha. personal stories that you fill in the, with into your story. You know, I, I, an example. We all saw the, you know, the events in Boston unfold last week, and you can, yeah, unfortunately, and but you and you can tell that story in very broad strokes. I mean, there was the explosions, and then the shock that followed it, and then there was the photos of the two guys, and you know, the black hat and the white hat, and then the. Um, you know, the high-speed chase that we woke up and heard about right, right. And, and then the day-long search and the capture. And, and you've kind of summarized that story, and the people who follow those events kind of know it. But, you know, it was all those little personal human interest stories, you the bet. anecdotes that really fill in that story. And those are the ones that we'll remember, you know, the the hero in the cowboy hat or – the, you know, I remember seeing the story of the the policeman bringing the milk to to the sequestered home. You know, they were trapped. And right. Yeah, we all have our we all have our versions of that. Yeah. You know, the mm -hmm. poster of the eight year old uh, boy who was killed. You know, that mm -hmm. hurt. You know, don't hurt anybody. No more hurting. Anymore. Yeah. yeah. No more hurting. Peace. You know, we all and we all have our versions of that. And some of those we share because some of them are things we either read or we saw on television. And some of them are very personal. If you knew somebody who was in the marathon or you were there for some reason or in the marathon you've got your own personal versions of that i was at a dinner party over the weekend and uh there were some people there who had uh, their grown children had been in that marathon and and one of them had gone through the finish line about 10 minutes before the explosion so wow. you, you know i mean those are the kind of stories you don't forget and that those are anecdotes and they they really add power to any story i mean like one of my favorite little anecdotes not really relevant to anything other than it's a favorite story of mine is that when Elvis died, I have a, uh, he's much older now, of course, but I had, had a, a third grader at the time who, he came out of the womb, a deep thinker and, you know, a serious thoughts kind of mm -hmm. person. And a couple of days after Elvis died, he looked up at me very, you know, very seriously and said, you know, Dad, I'm really sorry Elvis died. And I'm thinking, holy cow, I didn't know that this eight-year-old even knew who Elvis was. Right, right. And he's clearly got something that he's got to get off of his chest. So I... I better stop and listen to this. So I said, oh, really? Why is that? He says, because if Elvis hadn't died, they wouldn't be playing his music over and over again on the radio. You know, oh. great eight-year-old comment. Yeah. But but these kind of little human interest stories really can add impact to your story. So if you have any way of adding them, you know, just be careful that if they're all about you, that they're not all about you bragging about how wonderful you are because those, as you know, get really old really quick. But... We all like stories about human things. You know, I mean, you know, that little human to touch, that, that personal touch, the emotion and the realness of it. So if you have a chance, use anecdotes because they can really add impact to your story. Mm. Well, absolutely. And just even as you've shared them, Jerry, we're all instantly remembering the stories um, you know, to the to those examples and even mm -hmm. every single day. And so using those stories when you are trying to get your message out are incredibly powerful for an article about today's storytelling tip um, that you heard here and every week here on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Go to Jerry's blog at jerrybrownpr.com. You'll also find an archive of all of his storytelling tips that he shares at jerrybrownpr.com. You know, the late journalist, screenwriter, and Denver native Gene Fowler once said, writing is easy. All you do is sit staring at a blank sheet of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead. <laughs> Keep your forehead dry and hire Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR to help you write your blog posts, social media postings, articles, press releases, PowerPoint presentations, and more. Jerry can edit what you've already written. Jerry Jerry Brown at jerrybrownpr.com. And you can reach Jerry at jerrybrownpr.com, or you can uh, give him a call, 303-594-8016. That's 303-594-8016.